Hi there, my name is Maj and I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes. It, and it simply says, where you are today in your life is a sum total of choices you've made. And I like to use that quote because often we don't realize that the choices I make today will actually affect you where you are tomorrow. And so to that end, I want to read from the book of Ruth, and it's a very well-known story, very well-known characters in the Bible, Ruth and Naomi. And Ruth chapter one, verse 16 says, but Ruth replied, don't ask me to leave you and turn back. Wherever you go, wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. And here, Ruth made a decision. You see, if you know the story of Ruth and Naomi, they were a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law, mother and daughter, and both of them experienced tremendous loss. They both lost their husbands. And Naomi decided to go back to her home country and to leave where she is and then go back. And so Ruth was placed before a choice in her life. And she then, but she, the choice, she, she, she then eventually says to her mother-in-law, please don't ask me to leave you and turn back because what Naomi was doing was begging her, please, you are young, go back to your family, stay here. You don't have to come with me, so turn back. But Ruth says, wherever you go, wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. You see, the choice that was put before Ruth that day was, I can either stay with my family in other words, be comfortable, be surrounded by people I know, I speak their language, they are my people. Or I can leave the comfort behind and go with my mother-in-law. How's that for a mother-in-law relationship? Go with my mother-in-law to her country, to her people, to a people I don't know, and serve a God. And so let go of the gods and the God that I knew and the culture I knew, and then take hold of the God that's my mother-in-law's God. And so that was the choice she made. And so we see that she chose to go with, with Naomi, but she also says, your God will be my God. And I thought about this and the fact is that Ruth made a statement because she's been in a relationship with her mother-in-law. She has seen her mother-in-law's God and she's seen the relationship that her mother-in-law has with her God. And I'm sure that she's made that decision a while ago. And she said, you know, because of your relationship, because you serve God, I want that myself. I see where I'm coming from. I don't want that anymore. And so she chooses God. And I wanna ask you today, what are the choices you have to make in your life? What are the things that you have to let go? And I'm praying that wherever you are, if you're hearing this, but I pray that there are people like Naomi in your life who loves and serve God and that you today will make a decision to serve the Lord yourself because you've seen other people and you've, you've seen God at work in other people's lives. And if you know the story of Ruth and Naomi, we know, Naomi, we know the ending that Ruth eventually settled down in the land, in, in the new land with her mother in law Naomi and she met Boaz. She met her husband and they settled down and got married. And it's one of those beautiful stories in the Bible with a beautiful ending. So today I wanna to ask you, each one of us will face choices that demand commitment out of the ordinary. And the question is clear, what principles will guide your decisions? Ruth's journey, Ruth's journey encourages us to boldly declare our commitment not just in words, but to make the lip, but to take deliberate actions that shape our lives and honor God. I pray that today that your choices and decisions and actions will always honor God and that you will choose God for yourself today, just like Ruth. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you. I choose you today, Lord. I pray that those that hear this word will also choose you, Lord. We on, I pray that my life and the choices and the actions I take on a daily basis will honor you. So bless me, Lord. Thank you for who you are in my life and thank you for what you're doing in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us today. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, click subscribe. 
Remember to share this link with friends and family. God bless you.